you know what I'm saying? Which, which, which is Putin, okay? Which is the, hey, you gotta, you gotta let them do what they do, but Putin won't do that. No. Oh, you want to make you, you want to be famous? Praise the God. Praise oh, the Lord. Famous. These are the Praise people y'all need to come see. Ah. These are the people. These are the people y'all need to come see when y'all need a prayer. So when y'all need a prayer. Y'all got y'all fame, okay, ladies. Baby yeah. Ben, yeah. I'm score zero. All right, ladies. But um, yeah, you know, I, I'm not in it. Let it go, man. I, it's not on my spirit to really, you know, get crazy because it's like, why? Nah, but not. yeah, so it's just, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's just, uh, but, annoying, but I'm saying, bro. but this, this is a part brothers got to deal with and, and it's a part of growing. So it's like, yeah. you know, if, if this is more of me younger, these brothers know I would probably been more aggressive, but hey, that's what I said. You want to be famous? You made yourself famous. Okay. But the Lord sees your behavior of your disrupting for whatever reason you decided to do it for but anyway like we were saying we're just going into the third world war uh they're not even probably going to make it that far okay they're loud this says a, a, a foolish woman it's is clamorous, right? clamorous. No, yeah. no, no, no we don't say she's loud she's loud and no of nothing loud and no of nothing and this is what you see but this that is the modern day woman that younger generation okay Before that they say f god Huh? Well, they was coming up, they yeah, said that's F what they God. Said. Yeah, bro, that's then what, when I got over that's here, they flipped it and turned bro. around. So, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? Like the bro said, there's no point in getting mad. I just was like, you know what? I'm just going to look away. I'm not going to say nothing to these little wild hyenas. Yeah, that's Because at the end of the day, most high going to know so. what's up, man. Yeah. And they're going to be greatly humble. That's what I'm saying, right. And they did. you wanted to make yourself famous? What I was saying by saying it is, oh, the Lord just looked at you and said, oh, you want to be disrespectful and, and disrupt the word? Okay, now, now, now you, 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 uh, 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 what, what's the little, what's the one we play on Call of Duty? Not Call of Duty, what's the uh, game we play on? Yes, it is. When we play on Call, Call of Duty and when you got to put the marker on something, like if you're the enemy, you, you, smart. you yeah. put the marker on there so, so, so your team, your teammates can know where, where that person yeah, is. Yeah, they been, been yeah, right, they been Scopeo, bro. You know? But we ain't up here to entertain you. We really up here to tell you what you need to know. But they don't give a shit. Hey, really, we ain't even up here to do that? You got marked. You know what we about. Yeah. They know that we represent the most high. That's why they say, if God. Yeah. Even, even. Y'all niggas been out here since 7 o'clock. Yeah, bro. All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises on our glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Double honors to the apostles. Now there's a great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying. And what you've seen, um, you know, this is more towards the end of camp. And actually, uh, we ended camp right after that because, you know, it was getting kind of late. And, you know, people were, you know, it was getting kind of wild, you know, of course, Friday night. You know, a lot of wild hyenas, as a brother called them, like that group. And there was more several other groups, you know, as that kind walking around, you know, just being uh, disruptive, you know, <clears throat> amongst many other uh, kinds you would find in the midst of the night, you know, Friday nights, Saturday nights, you know, you, you see a lot of that going on where brothers um, be teaching. But um, if I ain't say it, I want to give all praise on the glory to you. How about you? I was shy. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. I might have already said it, but, you know, uh, a train of thought is thinking and know somewhere else so i might have uh it might have slipped my mind so so i might have said it a second time um but nevertheless you know uh you you come across this as you're on the highways and byways you know and um i believe this time through the spirit as that took place and i see some growth in myself because as i mentioned in the video um a few years back i was you know more younger in the truth when I said I would have been more aggressive, I would have been, you know, I would have kind of probably tried to uh, more of remove them out of the camera footage. You know, now a brother could have grabbed their camera and, and, you know, tell them to move the camera so they wouldn't be all in it. But like I said to them, I said, look, you want your you want your, your two minutes of fame? Go ahead. There you have it. OK, because those. Uh, 30 seconds more of that's what it was those 30 seconds that you wanted to do all that to show your face 
you didn't consider right you didn't consider that you was doing evil you didn't consider what you were doing was disrespectful to your how about shim yabba shah as you was uh as you came through to disrespect the ministry the word that was going forth you know and we was going into something you know everything we go into is important okay but we were going into uh world war three okay before you came and really interrupted the words of your how about shim yabba shah all right let me uh let me get a few scriptures real fast uh oh hell no. Let's see uh the book of Ecclesiastes <clears throat> The Book of Ecclesiastes chapter five verse one it says keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the most high. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. And they don't understand that they came right to the house of the Most High. Because we, the scripture says, where two or three are gathered, right? The Lord is in the midst of us, right? Roughly paraphrasing, you know? And as we is out there doing the work, that was, that was, that's church. Okay, and you came and disrespected the word of God. Right. And you didn't consider. Right. Or they didn't consider that they were doing an act of evil because they were being rude. They were being disrespectful because they looked at what we were doing as entertainment. They didn't take it serious. But little do they know is that was a uh, that was a, a act of disrespect. That was an act of disrespect to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah for coming to interrupt the word of the servants, the prophets. All right. Because they didn't keep thy foot. Scripture says, verse 2, be not rash with thy mouth and let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything. And they came up as wild hyenas and they were uttering all manners of jibble jabble. Okay? Nonsense. So it says, be not rash with thy mouth to, and let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High. For the Most High is in heaven and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. God's ass at the one verse three, the ox know of his owner and his ass is master's crib. But Israel doeth not know, my people doeth not consider. Okay, our people don't consider who their owner is, right? Even a, a, a ass, a donkey, okay, and an ox know of who their owner is, but our people don't know, right? Our people don't know. That's why the Lord says. For my people have received, for, for they have received benefits from me and have not known me. Right? I want to get that real fast. Let's get that. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, verse 10. It says, for such, as, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. You see? Y'all don't know you how I bought me. I was shy. And yes, y'all were uh, receiving benefits and certain blessings from the Lord, but y'all don't know the Lord. Right? And they that have loathed my law while yet had liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open to them, understood it not, but despised it. Right? They despise the words of Yahweh. They make void his law. Okay? They do the things that's contrary to the Holy Scriptures. The same must know it after death by pain. And this is going to happen to the majority of our people. The two-thirds, as we call them. The two-thirdians. I call them the two-thirdians. Okay? A lot of y'all going to be destroyed. A lot of y'all going to know it after death by pain. Y'all going to know that how will by Shem Yahushua is not on your side. Because a lot of y'all people got this, this Christianity spirit vibration on y'all thinking that the Most High is on y'all side. And really it's not on y'all side. Got this whole uh uh you know this whole mindset of you know Jesus saves and John 3 16 and you know all these different scriptures, but you really don't know what these scriptures are actually talking about. Okay? You don't know what these scriptures are actually talking about. You see? And guess what? And this is another reason why Esau is gonna be destroyed as well, because he has uh, led you to believe this mindset is do as thou will. Okay, you only live once. You know, satisfy your flesh. Or in order to win is to sin. 
send the wind. Yeah, he pushes that vibration out here on our people, and our people eat it right up. They eat it right up. A, a full bu a full buffet, man. A full buffet of confusion, a full buffet of wickedness, a full buffet of abomination, a full buffet of perverseness, a full buffet of lewdness. This shit is sickening. This is sickening. But this is all going to come to an end very soon. This is all going to come to an end, right? What is that? I want to get Proverbs chapter 9. Verse 13, it says, A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. Because if they knew anything, they would know that they was in the presence of men of the, men of the Lord, the servants of the prophets. They would have knew they was in the presence of the house of the Most High. You see? But, they, but they're what? they simple and they know of nothing. Right? And the scriptures also say what? The simple believe, the simple believe of every word. You know, so they believe the words of Esau Edom. Now he pushes that madness out to him. They believe that madness, not knowing, not listening to his folly, listening to his vain opinion, or listening to his lies. Because that's what he do, he lie. Listening to his lies is going to get you destroyed. So verse 13 again, it says, A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. And this is what you have seen pop up, you know, on the uh, on the page. A foolish woman, foolish woman that are clamorous. Now, let's, I want to get this real fast. Let's put book of Proverbs nine, verse thir that's thirteen. It says, uh, "The fool." The uh, in NLT, the woman named. Folly, the woman named Folly is brash. She is ignorant and doesn't know it. So to be ignorant meaning it means to what? To not know, meaning the lack of knowledge. Okay? And guess what? The Lord have deprived the woman of wisdom. You know, now are we saying that you women have zero percent wisdom? No, we're not saying that. Okay? But do you do your do your uh, wisdom measure up to the wisdom that a man of the Lord have? Absolutely not. Okay. But in most cases, you know, you women, uh, you you don't you don't have wisdom. You don't exercise wisdom. All right. This is just the, this is just the truth. This is just the truth. Okay. Now, am I saying a woman has zero percent wisdom? No, I'm not saying that. Okay, but. The majority, y'all have a, a low percentage. All right. I want to go into this word clamorous. Strong's H, nineteen ninety three. Hama. 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 Oh my goodness! It says what to murmur. To growl, to roar, cry out more, to rage, and making noise, a tumult, right? Uh, just a whole, a whole bunch of noise, uh, and an uproar. This, this is what they were. They was what they was in an uproar when they came in front, being an uproar when they came in front of the camp. To what? To be in commotion, to be boisterous, be turbulent. You see, in these women or these young women, they explained this they they, they explained this okay so like not explain <laughs> oh my god they display this behavior of being a of being clamorous woman all right <laughs> explain <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> but yeah they displays this behavior all right <clears throat> so, you know, I'm not gonna make the video too long. You know, really, the point is being made. Of, hey, look, you, you woman. Uh, oh, let's get that. Uh, so when I, I talked about, we can get it in Romans just to just make a point. When we talk about the Book of Romans, chapter 16, verse 17. It says. Uh, Verse in the KJV. Now I beseech you, brethren, 
Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. So this is speaking of individuals, other circumstances that teaching the word, okay, that is causing divisions and offenses contrary to the, the truth of the Holy Scriptures, right? And then what do you do? You mark them, you mark the you mark these individuals and you avoid them, right? Now I want to go into uh, bringing out the word mark because the brother said it, which is scopeo. It says to look at, observe, to fix one's eyes upon, to direct one's attention to anyone. Okay, so that's basically to, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you 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 basically you highlight somebody. Okay, and these women, what they young women, what they didn't know, realize what they did was they have highlighted, they spiritually highlighted themselves, and it probably was for destruction. You know. For the most part, is there one of them that maybe repent and turn to the Lord, or, or all of them? I mean, yes, that can happen. You know, absolutely. You know, but slim, the slant, the chances may be slim, in my opinion. You know, but everything is up to the Lord. You know, so they have put, they have highlighted themselves since, like I said, if you know, y'all want to be so famous and you know, jump in the camera and do all this, it's like okay, I want to get y'all a little thirty seconds of fame. Okay, we'll make you, you, you'll be made famous. Okay, not I'm just, you know, I'm just using that word, you know, facetiously. Okay, but really, like I got saying, like you want to highlight yourself and put this mark on yourself, go on right ahead. You know? Go on right ahead. So, you know, it was just something quick hit through the spirit that I wanted to touch on. And like I said, I was uh, you know, as I have grown in the spirit, I it, it, the spirit had me deal with it the way I dealt with it. I really didn't do too much. You know, I, I, I let them get their little 30 seconds and they, they ran off. You know, there was no need to, you know, stir up more, stir up more in a pot as the hyenas was already uh, being wild and loose. So with that, till next time, I want to say shalom.